Good morning friends, myself TK Madhu, Selection Grade Lecturer, GPT Tarihal. So coming to the fifth semester for the pathway IIOT, we are going to see what are the syllabus is given briefly and for the each experiment, so how we can implement it. So nowadays even in electronics, technology meets creativity. So if you think so many ideas that can be created with the help of technology or by using electronics or embedded systems. So here we have shown fifth semester ENC, ENC subject is IIoT. So that is industrial internet of things. So this picture shows that with the help of any mobile or the dashboard, we can control all the devices related to the industries which has been shown here like processing unit, we can do analytics and we can do alerts and we can control the machineries like robots. So this is a brief diagram. So we will go to the next slide. So in the <coughs> syllabus, first experiment 1, practice introduction to node MCU using ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, it's simple implementation. They have given, we have to use only a simple implementation. So to make it more easy, step by step, better we should not enter directly to the IoT. So we can go with implement LED blinking without IoT. So here, when you purchase a node MCU board in the market, we should know whether that board is working or not. So just by downloading this blinking program, we will come to know that that board is working or no. Once if it is working fine, then we can go with the other experiments. Because in the market, there are so many types of varieties of boards are coming in one, in one lot. The whole lot of node MCU may not work. Even it happens many, many times. So better to test the board, then it is better to go to the experiment. So here we are going to do LED blinking without IoT. So next, coming to the second experiment, they have given in the syllabus, design, we can design or we can simulate or we can demonstrate a simple protocol. See, they have given demonstrate also is sufficient. So here, majority of the programs, the student cannot write by own because it will be quite lengthy. So because of that, they have given the options for us like design, simulate, demonstrate a simple protocol. You can take any protocol because they have not mentioned, uh, of course, uh, any protocol you can take or you can go for MQTT protocol also. So here demonstrate a simple protocol based system. The cloud application should fetch data from the device using the MQTT protocol. So here what we can do, we can using this protocol, we can make with the help of MQTT protocol LED on and off. So next. Coming to the third experiment, here we have given practice interfacing GSM modem to operate anything they have given. We have to do communication between GSM modem and the node MCU. So here better we better to do this uh, for irrigation motor control because for irrigation motor control we cannot apply IoT there because internet maintaining at the field will be very tough. Whereas GSM modem, if you take, just by taking a SIM, if you insert to the GSM modem, anywhere from the world, we can control the irrigation motor. So better, especially for this experiment, that's why they have given, better to choose the field application to control the irrigation motor. Next, uh, practice introduction to Blink IoT platform, features, cloud, installation steps, everything. Here, like how using Blink IoT how to create dashboard, so how to allot data streams for that, then how the dashboard will be created with the help of using SSID and password, how to control your appliances using mobile as well as dashboard. You can use desktop or app, laptop or you can use mobile also. So here there is no experiment, only we have to see the steps, how to creating the dashboard so only the steps you have to do this. There is no implementation in this. So coming to the experiment number five. 
So, practice design a simple IoT based application using Blink IoT platform. So, here we have taken to control uh, light and fan we can do like uh, using a mobile and also along with the dashboard we can create and we can make the lights light and fan on, on and off. Here I have taken only two channels even if you want you can go for four channels four channel in the sense we can control four loads say for example light fan bed lamp AC like that. So, experiment number 6. So, we should use design Arduino IoT cloud ESP8266 node MCU and using Alexa with the help of our voice. We have to do automation. They have mentioned classroom automation. Anywhere the same automation will be used in home anywhere. So, by using your voice, you should be able to, if I say Alexa, switch on the light, the light should be on. Suppose if I say Alexa, switch on the fan. So, like that we can operate it, light and fans. And experiment number 7, we have to monitor temperature and humidity and we have to uh, display in the dashboard or publish in the dashboard. Here. Uh, in, the, in this what we have done, this is like one way communication. We can say simplex, if you see in the te telecom terms simplex because we are uh, sending some uh, message to the node MCU and we are only controlling here whereas here it is like duplex, we are monitoring as well as controlling. So, coming to the eighth. So, we have to use one sensor and we have to interface to Arduino not the node MCU and using ThinkSpeak we have to send the data to the cloud or IIoT dashboard. So, next the ninth experiment we have to do IoT based water level indicator model using ultrasonic sensor. So, here so the ultra using ultrasonic usually we can find the distance. So, at what distance the object is like that. The same sensor we can also use it for just to check what is the level of the tank. So, water level of the tank we can see. So, whenever the like uh, uh, ultrasonic sensor is placed above the tank, whenever water is filling and coming up, the distance will be decreased. Whenever water gets empty, the distance will increase. So, in the program using distance we can write, suppose if water level becomes 25 percent we have to display and if you want you can make the motor on. Similarly, once the water starts filling if it comes to 90 percent then we will get the reading. So, you putting the loop that the reading in the program we can make the motor off also. So, that is application what they mentioned in the syllabus. Next, the 10th experiment, practice build IoT based color shorting mission using ESP8266 and using ThinkSpeak software. So, here, uh, so we can use color shorting means I think a small conveyor belt we have to do and we have to pass some colored blocks on that like red color, green or yellow whatever it is. So, whenever the conveyor belt is moving with the help of a color sensor, we have to identify that block and we have to create small mechanism if red red color is coming a block it has to move to the different box and if the green is coming to the different and if the other color is coming it will go to the straight in the conveyor belt and it will fall in the box. So, like that we can do here. So, here uh, the 11th experiment. So, we have to do uh, simulations simulation or hardware based optimization testing troubleshoot to get desired output for any application of your choice. So, this experiment, so the software to implement we are not finding right now, we will see in the coming uh, videos. Coming to the 12th one, we have to prepare a model or a prototype to demonstrate agriculture IOT in class. 
So here what we planned, see implement to monitor the field condition means whether the field is dry or wet, you can use the uh, field uh, wetness sensor. So if it is dry, we have to display on the dashboard and switch on the motor automatically and vice versa. So simple, so we have to display the condition of the field whether it is dry or wet in the dashboard, the IoT dashboard. Then if it is field is wet, it has to motor has to stop. And if the field is dry, it has to get on. And IoT based energy meter we can do or smart baggage tracker, automation using via Bluetooth simulation or hands on demonstration of components, technology and process. So here, I planned uh, using a mobile app, there will be a app which we can download in the app store, say for example, Robo control or making lights on and, off, on and off using Bluetooth, not IoT. So here the student will come to know without Wi-Fi using Bluetooth, we can control the devices or the robot control like that. So here uh, we, have to, we are going to use an Arduino board to control the robot and we are going to put an app here. So actually I have developed some of the own apps. So where we can control the lights and light fan everything on and off and also the robo control. We have many apps for it. So experiment number 15, IoT based smart car parking system using Arduino or Node MCU. So better when you get IoT platform, better to use Node MCU because in the node MCU there is a Wi-Fi inbuilt in that. So better you prefer wherever the IoT is coming, better you go for a controller node MCU 8266, ESP8266. So here what you should do, say for example as a prototype model you can do, you can place some uh, two sensors as a model. So whenever the car is parked, it should display in the dashboard that, that slot is occupied. So next one more car comes that also has should be displayed. So whenever the car goes off, the empty status also it has to display in the dashboard. So how it will be useful in the future, suppose there are a big malls. So we no need to go get down and see the status in the board, the olden type. So here just by taking your app, they will be giving a password and uh, it will be directly connected because there is no security required for the parking. Everyone can see in the mobile itself. So you will see the status in the mobile and we can park wherever the slot is empty. And here uh, we have one more touchless attendance system. You have to use a, a thermometer, infrared thermometer where recently we are using in the corona time. We have to use the thermometer and as per that without touching uh, the temperature we have to read and uh, we have to. Uh, maintain the attendance system here, infrared thermometer, results will be in the web server actually. So this we can implement with the help of Node MCU and Blink IoT platform. So to get my updates, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to click on the bell icon to get new notifications. Thank you.